Hello guys, uh, my desktop looks like shit. Why? Well basically, school is coming up and these are all the works I've been work I've been doing. I've been doing this, actually all these things are new files. And yeah, the thing is I pushed everything up until the end and I had to do it. So that's why I haven't made a tutorial in a while because I, all I've done is schoolwork basically. But I'm going to do a fast tutorial, but then I'm going to go back to schoolwork. It's almost done and after that tutorials will come out more regularly. But yeah, I also promised that I would scream in this tutorial. So ah, there we go. But yeah, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to fix the f D3D D yeah, D3D error thingy that has something to do with Direct DirectX 3D, and basically the problem is you trying to start a game but it crashes. And why does it crash? Well, I believe it is something to do with um, the default screen resolution. Uh, your computer cannot handle to start a game in the default screen resolution. That's what I got from it. Uh, so basically, to fix it, you would either change your screen resolution to the default screen resolution that the game has. But it's quite hard to know which the default screen resolution is. So, for many games, uh, many, not all of them, but on many Steam games, you often just put in some commands. But, what if you have a non-Steam game? Well, I'm going to show you two ways of doing this. Let's say you have Mass Effect. Uh, I don't think this will work for Mass Effect, but this is the only game this uh, shortcut that I have so basically what you're gonna do to fix this for a non steam game that is a steam game but it, you have it on non steam basically go to properties and here in the target uh, you can see where the file is and basically you would also put in a line you would add the th commands I had earlier so basically height and the height of your screen resolution I think I don't know what it is but let's see screen resolution so the height would be 1080 and 9. So height H 1080 and then uh, width is 1920 and then just apply and that would actually start the game in my screen resolution. But let's say you don't have this. You don't have this. What you're gonna do is gonna try to find the location where you have the settings for the file. So basically uh, you would try to find a config of some sort. Uh, the best thing would be to go to users, Turu, and have, I think it should be, where is it? My games? Where is it? Save games now. Okay, that didn't work. Basically, okay, you have to go to app data and I, I can show you how to go to app data later on. But basically you would find the game if it does exist here, um, could be local as well. I think some games like Ubisoft Game Launcher. I think you have some settings here, and basically, I think you can find. Just try to find this, the config file because there is a config file. But yeah, and if that doesn't work, change the screen resolution to something that the game can handle. And if you want to go to app data, if you can't find a folder, basically go here and type app data and that will take you to this folder then you can clip uh, click app data to go back here and you have some more uh, settings there but yeah that's basically this tutorial so if you have a non steam game that is usually on steam just right click on the shortcut take properties and just add a I think a minus will also work wait are you gonna see the difference yeah okay minus would work I guess also a uh, and just type in height and whatever height you got and width whatever width you got so yeah that's it and it, it has to be a shortcut it cannot be the XE itself so yeah thank you for watching this tutorial guys and see ya wait that's wrong that's